it's at a critical time like this, we talk about how important education is to make sure that future generations don't make some of the mistakes that we've felt on our own skins, yet we're seeing it happen over and over again when the appropriate condemnation does not take place. Haran Dink passed, was murdered at the doorstep of his office in January of 2007. And now, it's been less than two weeks since we've seen an attack of Azerbaijani army propelled by their Turkish counterparts and supporters upon Armenian lands. So it's extremely important for us to take action, to make sure our voices are heard, and to condemn these actions. Right here, you got a chorus of supporters. You have to make sure that your other elected officials hear from you. For more than 100 years, Armenians have been victims of massacres and ethnic cleansing in the Turkish Ottoman Empire, the Republic of Turkey, and the Independent Republic of Azerbaijan. But even today, Armenians continue to be attacked in Azerbaijan, Armenia, and the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic. Turkey continues to deny that a genocide occurred despite the international calls for accountability, both during and after the genocide. But to deny the Armenian genocide, or to attempt to call it anything but that, a genocide, is not only to deny the rape and slaughter of 1.5 million innocent lives, it is to deny perhaps the proudest chapter in American history, during, during which time, for over 15 years, the American people helped raise over $117 million, which is close to $3 billion in today's funds. To deny the Armenian Genocide is to deny the first U.S. congressionally sanctioned organization, the Near East Relief, and its well-organized efforts, which successfully saved over 1 million refugees and 132,000 orphans of the Armenian Genocide a world away. Part of our desire to make sure that we're effective in our support and in making sure that we communicate the right message was to have an educational component. So we wanted to have an essay writing contest from among all of the students in California. And over the last course of the last two years, we've received several, numerous, hundreds of essays. Uh, we had our first event last year at the 100th commemoration. And this year, we also held uh, the essay contest. And I'm very proud to recognize the three awardees right now that I'll be calling up. First place, Mr. Arvin Sarkisian from La Crescenta. Second place, Josh Acosta from Covina. Third place, Autumn McCuller from Patterson. <laughs>